With a lot of calculations, you're dealing with really large numbers and a series of rounding uh, decisions that can impact your result. So for example, if you have the natural log of 2, then you're dividing it by 4. Now imagine this is one of the many calculations you're dealing with. You don't really want to round until, let's say, the very last step in your calculations. That's usually the approach I take. And also, it's really nice not to round if you don't have to. But no one wants to en enter this decimal over and over again. So a nice feature of the graphing calculator is, once you have a value, you can store it by pressing this button down here, the STO button. And you can store it as a variable of your choice. So I press alpha and the button below it is A. I'll choose the variable A and I'll hit enter. Now, whenever I hit alpha A, I can use that number, and I can use it in all kinds of calculations. Perhaps I want to raise 2 to the power of the natural log of 2 over 4 or some other decimal, but instead of re-entering that or entering out the decimal that I'm using, I can hit alpha A, and then I've got it. Now, once you have a variable set, you can reset it very quickly. Let's say you're doing uh, 5 divided by 8, Here's a nice short decimal, not too hard to remember, but maybe you don't want to enter 0.625 a bunch of times. If you hit alpha and A again after you hit store, let me fix that there, store the answer as alpha A again, All right, I now have that number. So if I hit alpha A, there it is. And if I want to do uh, 4 times that number, I can do it. Right? So the store button is extremely convenient and can store all types of things. What we're looking at right here is how it stores in data values. Hopefully other vid videos will look at how to store other uh, information that's useful to you. Thanks.